<laughs> it is uh, now 11:17. You know who's the boss lady of the weather department, oh, don't you? The one and only <laughs> Ms. Betsy Kling over there. I don't think you all understand how things go down here in the Weather Center. <laughs> it's chaos most days, uh, but you know what? We get it done too, don't we? Uh, the good news is tomorrow morning we're going to get to get some sunshine in here. Little peaks, just a little bit goes a long way after we've had a dreary day like we had today. Temperature right about 40 degrees to get things started. We'll be in the 50s for the afternoon. Still cool. Scattered rain showers are going to be around with us. Temperatures currently are downright chilly out there. It's feeling crisp. We're in the upper 30s and low 40s. We could even get into a situation where if we get enough clearing taking place, we may see some patchy frost farther south, but I think for the most part, uh, we'll be able to hold on to just enough he to, to see that threat uh, diminish somewhat. But we did see a lot of breaks in the overcast through the evening hours. Saw a beautiful sunset setting up. We still have just a few clouds passing through. And yeah, more clouds out to the west of us. More showers, too. This is our next rainmaker that's coming in as we go through the latter part of the day tomorrow. And then once we get into Friday, too. That is the leading edge of another batch of cool air that's coming in because it's not quite cool enough, everybody. Uh, but the overall trend here is really that we've seen a big push from the north, not just locally, but almost uh, across the entire continent. And when we take a look at the big picture, we do like to see what's going on with the hemispheric patterns. Typically, we look in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere to see how the wind flow is shaping up. This is 500 millibars, about halfway up through the atmosphere, uh, where we're seeing the cool air that is coming south, and you can kind of see this dip right here. Uh, I know we talk about the polar vortex midwinter, and we get very excited when we talk about the polar vortex, but keep in mind, the polar vortex is at the North Pole all the time. It's just every now and then it gets a little off kilter and that is what is going on. That polar vortex, instead of being tightly packed up toward the North Pole, you can see all of these uh, waves that are coming off of it. So every time one of these waves pass through, we get a shot of cool air. When it starts to lift back north, we get warmer. Hopefully this thing will start to tighten up here in the next few weeks, but this is what's going to happen over the next couple of days. You can see that cool air drops into the Great Lakes region by Friday, so we'll kick up up a little bit tomorrow, drop again on Friday. That will slowly begin to rotate its way out once we get into Saturday. Mother's Day, things try to even out just a little bit, but just about the time we see everything even out, we get another hit of rain coming in. And again, we need to see this entire thing shrink back up toward the North Pole until we can really get some appreciable heat in here. And it does not look like that's even going to take place early next week. It is a very stubborn pattern that we are stuck in, so uh, don't plan on putting the jackets away anytime soon. National Design Mart hour by hour forecast. Those mostly cloudy skies go partly cloudy for the start of the day tomorrow. And you can see uh, we'll have the temperatures right in the low 40s. By afternoon, I think we'll make it into the 50s thanks to those morning sun peaks. But mid to late afternoon, I think the rain showers start to creep in here. And it looks like tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, we'll have scattered rain showers staying with us. And that lingers into Friday, too. Now, I mentioned in your Union Home Mortgage forecast that the temperatures are going to dip on Friday. Friday back to the mid 50s. We'll hold on to more shower chances early Saturday than late day. We'll start to see things drying out only to have more rain move in for Mother's Day. Then finally, we'll start to see things changing a little bit. I mean, at this point, we would really like average. Average is 68 degrees, Sarah, and even in the next 10 days, we're not quite making it there, but at least things are trending in the right direction. Yeah, that's all we can ask for. All right, Betsy, thanks.